Okay, it's July 4th, 2009. I'm here with uh, John McConnell, and we're here to talk about a little bit about the transmission controller that he developed. Um, it is a controller, valve body, um, has a bunch of other safety features and such as well. Uh, the test subject is a uh, 63 Pontiac Le Mans, we call Vinny. Um, it's been used for a bunch of different testing of different products. To give you a little brief rundown how to control what's involved with the hardware of this package, you have a um, a little control box here. We'll give you a demonstration of how this works, but uh, the um, there's a display that displays RPM and gear position, and the other buttons are for uh, programming functions uh, to change shift points. Uh, it has a manual mode or a strip mode or street mode for regular street driving. And basically, I usually shift the car, uh, let the car shift itself, or it's just a manual button here I can hit to upshift the car. It's that simple. Uh, the only thing the transmission does require different for a shifter is a lever of some sort to pull the car in and out of park. I use this stock lever here for shifting. Okay, just on all of this is just to pull the car in and out of park. And most drag cars probably don't wouldn't even bother with that. You don't even need that. But um, Here's the other features I want to show you with the how the transmission works. I have a tranny brake button here. Uh, this button here, when I press this button, it puts it into arming mode for the um, launching uh, mode. And when you push this button, the car will go into third gear. And that way you can hold your foot on the brake and build boost as you creep into the, uh, into the uh, lights. And as soon as you get into the lights, you push this, you know, tranny brake down, and it uh, puts the car now in first and, and third, or first, sorry, first and reversed, and um, you're basically in regular tranny brake mode. But you have comp you're at 100% launch boost whenever you go into the lights, so no one's going to treat you and let go and let her fly. Uh, that's about it for now. Um, we can. Give you a little demonstration of how this works. Uh, John, do you have anything else to add as far as I missed? Well, you can also, it has the option that when you get into the lights and stop it into staging mode, right. you can actually re release just a foot brake and it'll go to first gear. Right. The tranny controller is hooked up to the brake, so it, the tranny knows when it's on the brake. So you have to have your foot on the brake when you push the arming button here. Okay. For for launch boost. And we'll show you a little demonstration of what happens here when this when that happens. This uh, display will start flashing and you'll know you're in that mode. So there's no um, question whether or not you're in that mode. You'll feel the car go into third gear. And then it's real easy to hold back um, to build boost. And the benefit comes from this with turbo cars. I mean a lot of turbo cars right now is they put dual calipers and stuff on the back. Well heck that's a six or seven thousand hundred dollar option to to do that, um, and plus all the work and aggravation of plumbing it and until it changes your rear brake bias and everything else, um, this fixes it all in one fell swoop. So basically cuts your torque to your rear wheels by 2.48 and uh, 2.42 with the turbo 400, 2.48 with the turbo 350 and uh, makes it real easy to stage the car. So some cars uh, like to be launched with uh, a slight load on them and that you can do by holding it in third gear and then as soon as you let go of the training brake button it can go um, you know, straight back into first and launch the car and some brakes like to have the suspension relaxed uh, like this car and it works just better as a regular tranny brake alright well fire it up and uh, give you a test rip show you how it builds boost to go going on, on the line I wanted to show you also Every car has uh, a neutral safety switch built right in. See, I cannot shift this car. You'll see my fingers here. It's not changing at all. It recognizes that the engine is stopped. So you'll never have an issue with you know someone starting a car and lurching ahead. Of course, you don't need uh, two hands to put it into uh, you know into reverse. Uh, there may be a slight problem with the NHRA initially because they don't understand that you're supposed to have two. But we also have a, a feature here where you actually got to hit two buttons on reverse to make sure you don't accidentally hit reverse. 
but the um, the, the feature is that if the motor actually stalls going down a track or locks up immediately, this immediately goes into neutral and you won't roll the car, or barrel roll the car or anything because you know the car will freewheel. So that's another major safety feature. It also has outputs for uh, to turn the uh, reverse lights on and for uh, a block out for uh, neutral if you want to you know not be able to start in neutral. It also has that feature. Um, of course the whole thing adjusts real quick will show you to get into different modes you have to have it in manual mode first okay and then you hit left right left right and now you see the number one I don't you see that blinking there uh, but now you can adjust the RPM for uh, gear position uh, gear shift one I have right now set at 63 and I can move over and set it for higher 64 then go into the next mode the next gear change to channel number uh, for shift number two so they are separate controllable points which is good for you know uh, motors sometimes like a higher shift point different uh, uh, position and um, you go in here and heck and change 74 if you wanted to change to 74 and then you can do that for this uh, strip street mode also change different gear positions for street mode and just to get back John just hit the mode, mode. And now we're back to regular mode. So the position, the, the way to do this is left, right, left, right, and that immediately starts you into the programming mode. Okay. Imagine that you just completed your burnout and you're ready to pull the line. Okay. Give it first gear. You hit this button here, and now you can see you're in training brake mode. See it flashing? Now it's so easy to hold the arm out on the third gear. So I can build full boost. Okay, this is another uh, car we have uh, unit in. This is for a 700R4. And, um, the other features of in this car are, are shift up and of course down shift. Okay. So we can show you pretty much how this works here. If we put it in manual mode, we can turn the key. Pumps are running, but you can think about that. And I'm having trouble here seeing the light since it's in neutral. Yeah. Okay. And uh, pull it out of the park to get it out of park and you can upshift it. It's right here on this pushing button here. And second, third, fourth. My uh, foot off the brake. It's the foot's on the brake. My foot's off the brake. Now it'll go to fifth gear, which is the converter lock up. Hit the brake. Hit the brake, it automatically kicks it out of converter lock out, see? that again and you see down my foot down the bottom and all I gotta do is bump my foot on the brake and it goes back into fourth gear so that prevents the car from stalling if you come to a light or whatever and then you can also you also have a button right here and a shifter to shift it up and shift it down and either way the train you braking also see a finger and the button at the same time just John shifts. This also has a feature in this in an older style we could program this either way but whenever you push this button on this app it puts it into uh, a mode where it's uh, the training brake mode and you see the whole thing flash and as soon as I release the brake it goes back into first. Now some kind of mention we do have a 4L80E version of this so far also so we have a uh, Stuff for ultra high horsepower, the 4080 will take it, and uh, also the lock up converter. Again, in reverse. And any button goes right into first. Oops, it's twice. 